Hello, this is Hawker Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-905, also known as Mr. Chameleon, the first of the Little Mr. series. I've noticed I'm reading them out of order. That will not stop. I don't plan on reading them in order. I just plan on reading them um, on a, in a completely random order based on, on who I find to be the most readable that night that I haven't already read yet. That happens to be Mr. Chameleon. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I'm number SCP-905. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-905 is to be contained in a 6, six, by six meter by 6 meter or by 3 meter or containment cell. Painted matte at black. This cell is to be devoid of any mirrors or windows. Two LED arrays are to be installed in cell's housing in, in SCP-905. Every four hours, SCP-905 is to be fed at four or 20 minutes. As of current regulations on misters, SCP-905 is to be contained in Hall Redacted of Site Redacted. Description SCP-905 is a sentient entity that composed of photons. These photons form a humanoid shape that has been described as fuzzy but definite. It is roughly 1.75 meters tall, however its mass is immeasurable. SCP-905 has shown the ability to speak through the manipulation of air particles, but its mechanism to perform this is unknown. SCP-905 is capable of the same movement as a human and male of the same body structure, but due to its photonic nature, it is unable to manipulate solid objects aside from emitting weak electromagnetic radiation. Solids, such as doors, must be moved for SCP-905 before it can leave or enter a room. SCP-905 has the ability to pass through windows and other transparent objects. The photons of SCP-905 is composed of the following usual laws of probability in this case, and are reflect back from the transparent object of approximately 5%. Separating any reflected photons from SCP-905's influence, SCP-905 describes this as Painful, but bearable. SCP-905 sheds its photons at a constant rate of approximately 0.001% of its body volume per second. These photons are emitted at a wavelength of approximately 380 nm, I don't know what that means, to 780 nm, or within the human spectrum of visible light. SCP-905 shows the ability to change wavelengths to match its background. SCP-905's lack of a shadow can make detecting SCP-905 while hidden problematic. SCP-905 shows an inability to absorb colored light. Due to SCP-905's constant loss of photons, SCP-905 must be fed regularly in order to maintain a healthy body volume. Conversely, feeding SCP-905 too large an amount of photons causes SCP-905 to experience an oversaturation. SCP-905 finds this extremely painful and describes it in a manner similar to human burns. Placing a mirror near SCP-905 in an attempt to feed SCP-905 its own emissions will result in SCP-905 expressing extreme discomfort. When questioned, SCP-905 replied, Would you e enjoy eating your own ex expletive redacted? SCP-905 was discovered at the data expunged entrance of site redacted. Addendum 90501 The words Mr. Chameleon from Little Missers was found by Sorry, 
The words Mr. Chameleon from Low Misters by Doctor Entertainment are printed upon SCP-905's left calf. SCP-905 shows an inability to change the wavelength emitted by this print. This designation appears as 1 in document SCP-909-A, which is actually replicated in every other Low Misters, um, document that we've seen so far. Also, before you ask, and a is, um, SCP-909 is actually, um, another little mister. Number four, if I remember correctly. Alright, Mr. Forgetful, that's what their name was. We'll be reading about them in a while. Probably tomorrow. Or the day after. I don't know. Anyway, that was SCP-905. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!